Hi, my name is Pavus Pechalski and what I here have right now on the bench is the flight controller done that last year more or less changed the way how we see how we what we want from the flight controllers designed for the aeroplanes. It's called Matex, Matex, Matexis. I'm not really 100% if this is Matex or Matexis. Uh, never mind. F405 wing. This is really this design even up to today, a year later, is one of the best designs of the flight controllers for aeroplanes. A lot of outputs, uh, integrated power distribution board, integrated current sensor, uh, a lot of serial ports uh, for, no, uh, in this case, three uh, analog to digital converters, USB, nice form factor, you can glue it with the tape to your foamy or anything, and it works, plus a lot of power options, because this thing has the uh, one, two, three, four, voltage stabilizers for different stuff and you you just can power your servers from this and this works great amazing fantastic product then the, the matic had the 411 wing which is smaller then this year there was a 722 wing which is was is this but slightly better with other options now now what i have over here is something new it looks like almost the same, right? There is not much difference. It's maybe only slightly smaller than the original 405 wing. You see, there is not really much difference. It's maybe like one, maybe two millimeters smaller than the wing, but it's not F405. This thing is called F765 wing. And this is right now the most powerful full flight controller compatible with INAV, Betaflight and Ardu Pilot. You cannot really yet buy this because this is a pre-production sample but will be probably will be with us very very soon and this is 405 made much better. Why? Let me show you why. Uh, let's remove the top plate. Top plate in the original F405 uh, wing is just a plate of plastic laminate uh, laminate that is only let's say protecting slightly the CPU from damage or protecting from uh, RF radiation or stuff like that. If ta -da, you see they put a huge Huge. This is really huge. Voltage stabilizer on this top plate. It's not connected to anything by default, by default. And if you want to have this running, you have to power this with a wire, solder it manually from those parts to those parts. But when this is powered, this is giving you, I don't want to lie to you, so 8 amps constant. 10 amps peak to make this more interesting it's only limited by the size of this inductor if the inductor was bigger and uh, the the rest of the, the the whole step down module over here can work up to 20 amps but because the step down the inductor here over here it's kind of let's say smallish it's only 8 amp constant without any danger of overheating so it can really power all the servos you ever need on airplane you don't need anything else even on the the biggest really the biggest airplanes you are happy with the amount of power this thing can deliver because it's come on it's huge um it's really it's really huge the rest okay the rest it's not really that fantastic the um, the CPU is bigger, uh, it's the ARM STM32F765, it's the biggest, the most powerful CPU we are currently installing, and outputs, a lot of outputs over here because there are 12 PWM outputs, so you can really have up to 12 motors, uh, if you want to put this for example on the drone, you can have really like 12 if you really want to, no, Yes, with a better flight you can have 12 motors, uh, but it can. It, more sensible approach is to use eight outputs and put it on an octa, and then there will be 
still four outputs you can reuse as servos. I don't think that there is right now any other flight controller that can deliver so many outputs. On top of that, um, eight serial ports, uh, I2C to connect whatever you want, six analog to digital converters, um, which is uh, battery monitoring, current monitoring, uh, RSSI, digital no, analog iris speed, and this already has a divider so we can just connect directly the analog APM uh, pitot tube to this, and it has two hardware, extra hardware channels. Uh, for the analog digital um, analog digital converters that in the future when the software will allow for this will let you monitor a uh, voltage and the current on the for example on the second battery or the uh, i don't know the sun uh, cells uh, whatever 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 there is i did not flight this yet this is, like I said, this is a pre-production. No, this is no. This is the pre-production sample. From what I know, the design still might change a little. Something might be moved left and right, uh, and the firmware for the INAV is right now only, let's say, in the process of creation. But if when when this will be really done and and on the market and available with the good firmware proper firmware support with 12 motors or eight motors and four servos or two motors and 10 servos really plenty of options i really expect that this is will be like for the biggest the strongest amazing aeroplanes or anything anything you ever will want to build not for everyone, because like I said, this is really the serious stuff for the most demanding users, for the majority of the rest of us, the 405 wing or 722 wing will be enough. But if you really want the best of the best of the best of the best with 8 amps constant current on the 5 volt line, this will be probably for you. Okay, that's all about this uh, hands-on. And uh, I'm really, I will put this on one of my airplanes only for the kicks. Not that I will ever need so many servers or UART, but because I have it, I will just put it and uh, yeah, we'll have some like, yeah, power, because the power is good. Okay, that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.